And it's a bit hard to concentrate on anything else, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Was that today? <laughs> well, I blame the town planners. It's socially irresponsible to put the lamb and flag back next door to Neptune's pantry. <laughs> you mean... Last bit of interior design. It was a splendid day on the island of Sodor. Thomas was taking Annie and Clarabel back to the yard. Hey, a new engine had arrived and he wanted to say hello. The engine was beautiful, with shiny paintwork and a gleaming brass dome. Thomas, me Emily. Charming evening, your mum. Hello to you. Emily, collect your coaches, please. You and your driver must learn the line. Yes, sir, she answered. <laughs> Thomas was impressed. Was that today? Later, the only coaches Emily's driver could find were Annie and Clarabel. These aren't your sort of coaches, he said, but I suppose they'll do. Annie and Clarabel felt insulted. Well, I blame the town planners. It's socially irresponsible to put the lamb and flag back next door to Neptune's pantry. <laughs> you mean... When Oliver saw Emily return to the yard, he was surprised. Listen, Buster. I'm under strict instructions not to let anyone in with their coats on. So that's why he looked cross, exclaimed Emily. I'll go and apologise. Well, where's the ladder gone? 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 Chuff Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> Later, Emily was still looking for Thomas when a signal man flagged her down. Oliver hasn't cleared his signal box, he told Emily's driver. Please go and see what's wrong. Emily could see that Oliver had broken down on the crossing. Then Emily heard Thomas's whistle. He could see Oliver and he knew he could never stop in time. Emily charged towards Oliver. Pushed him across the tracks. Last bit of interior design. Just in time. All right, I give in. Where's the front door gone? <laughs> Later, the fat controller praised Emily. Well, John, you were a very brave engine. Do you want to come in or not? Chuffed Oliver. It gives me great pleasure to present you with two new coaches. Thank you, sir, replied Emily. I'm sorry I took Annie and Clarabel. Looks like a bit of a nasty one. <laughs> Have some yourself, dearie. <laughs> Replied Thomas. Friends? Not very much. <laughs> Charming evening, your mum. <laughs> Emily loves her coaches and being part of the Fat Controller's Railway. Thomas noticed something strange on Emily's truck. It was long and pointy, but it was covered up. Hello, hello, hello. What's that dead body doing under the carpet? <laughs> that, said Emily, is for me to know and you to find out. And she puffed away. <laughs> Weesh, Thomas. She was waiting as he pulled into the yard. Molly was bright yellow. She had great big wheels and a shiny funnel. She looked very smart. Charming evening, your mum. <laughs> Hello, Molly chuffed back, but Molly looked sad. Was that today? <laughs> well, I blame the town planners. It's socially irresponsible to put the lamb and flag back next door to Neptune's pantry. What are you doing? I'm just taking your coat. Well, I don't want you to take my coat. This made Thomas feel sad. Listen, Buster, I'm under strict instructions not to let anyone in with their coats on.
Listen, Buster. I'm under strict instructions not to let anyone in with their coats on. All right, I give in. Where's the front door gone? <laughs>